Welcome to Draga, where we tell a dumb story with even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Joining us, of course, are our other adventurers, Julia Le Petit, Hello. Otherwise known as Roxa. And Jacob Andrews. What up? Regina herself. <laughs> And then, of course, Nathan, uh, your character, Legsy, back again for another round, another exciting installment of Dungeons and Drawfee. I'm still here. Guys, when we last left off, you guys had all tried your best to impress old baby Gus. Uh, and he had promised a drink. Of course, we all know it. Uh, the, the unnamed, the aforementioned drink, unnamed until now. So Gus, Gus spent basically... I would say an hour trying to remember what this drink was called. You guys were getting very, very <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> he kept getting he kept getting distracted. Exactly. <laughs> by shiny objects. But the name of the drink is, of course, the Chunts Chalice. Now let me oh. now let <laughs> now let, let me fill you in. Let me let me fill you on on what uh, a few words from old baby Gus uh, that he he departed to me before he went down for his nap. Uh, the Chunts Chalice was was a, a drink. Uh, given to him, a recipe given to him by grape-flavored mutiny, uh, a stranger from a strange land that, that he once knew uh, or has yet to know. And uh, this is how the drink works. The drink is just alcohol, literally just Miller Lite. Gus isn't giving you anything good for free. But the chalice it comes in is super important. It allows the user the opportunity to edit the drawing of another player, Ooh. but only once and only for a limited amount of time. Oh man. oh, man. How much time? Um, that will be determined by some sort of, I feel like a, you know, a, a master, someone who controlled the fates of others uh, might, might be the person to determine that later. Uh, he knows it currently now, mm -hmm. as he knows all <laughs> things, but that, that number, that time will be revealed to you it, at a distinct moment in the future. Probably when whoever won it decides to use it. Who's calling the shots here, bud? <laughs> oh, so, I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought we were. I thought we were having a conversation. Down some more HP. <laughs> Legsy is officially an undead at this point. <laughs> you baby roofing it over there? I do not think so. Put that baseball bat down. We are not playing baseball. We're playing Dungeons and Drawfee. Let's get right to it. <laughs> so, if you recall, the way that this works is our audience votes on the winner, the best drawing from last time. A uh, quick recap of our three drawings. Of course, we had Legsy stealing. Gus's legs. Leg-based deception, baby. <laughs> Roxa, of course, um, threatening uh, Gus with her shoulder pauldron, whose name is also Johnny, I believe. Her former boyfriend, current boyfriend, Demon Johnny. Yep. And then Regina, of course, uh, summoning the the, uh, the cow skull from atop the bar to do a nice little dance, and now joining us forever on our party as Bone Regard. Our boy. So I'm, I'm looking at the straw poll results now, and uh, bone drum roll, please. Real good in the mix. Uh, the winner is, of course, Legsy. <laughs> oh, what? what do you mean, of course? Uh, of course. <laughs> of course, Legsy favorite. wins. Oh Legsy's coming out strong uh, as the fan favorite up top. Uh, Legsy, you receive the goblet. You receive the chunts chalice. Hell yeah. This game is rigged. It's up to you. It is rigged fully. <laughs> I don't control it. Um, you can decide now if you want to share the drink with um, with your your teammates or if you would like to hoard it all for yourself. Well, it's the chalice is what's valuable. So yeah, you, exactly. you guys can all have some sips of my Miller. Nice. If you want <laughs> Miller sips. Well, one Miller sip that's going to do a lot for me. Thank you can you. have you can have two <laughs> sips. Right, Regina already Ooh. so sassy. What a night. <laughs> so you guys um. <laughs> We're just sharing some sips, just some girls. I don't need that much. I'm a I'm a half -lip, exactly. So, uh, so it's 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 ladies' night is in full effect. You guys are all all sharing sips, sharing sips and quips. I mean, the sips go slow because of that nipple on top. Exactly. Yeah, you, you, you gotta suck it through that nipple. <laughs> mm -mm. The sips go slow, and the fun lasts all night. <laughs> it's the chunts chalice, baby. The chunts chalice. So, guys, while you are all uh, just like. Ripping sips uh, from this baby bong, um, uh, a person walks over to you. Not not so much a person as uh, a goblin. Oh yeah, there was a goblin reading a, a newspaper. Exactly, and you didn't notice because you were you were all celebrating uh, your victory. Uh, he he got up from his his booth uh, and has uh, ambled over to you. Uh, he's a pretty well to do looking goblin, um, and he he comes over and introduces himself and says, "Hi, hello, uh, hi. Um, what is?" Who, which one of you is in, in charge? Is there a leader here, or are you just kind of a loose collective? Uh, who, who, who should I speak to? Uh, uh, you, you there with the, the nipple, you look important. Oh, yeah, I'm super important. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> what's Hi. up? what's your name? 
Uh, I'm Legsy. Cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, I, I saw you guys. Um, I saw you guys uh, really just kind of pulling the the wool over that baby, that old baby's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> pretty cruel, honestly. But I gotta admit, pretty impressive as well. Uh, that was that was pretty cool. You guys really fooled him. I've, I mean, I've been coming to this bar for for years, and I, I've never managed to, to weasel a, a free drink out of that fool. So uh, uh, kudos, I guess, is what I'm saying. But um, I, I've come to this bar because I know it's a good a good place to pick up a, you know pick up recruits, pick up adventurers um, that you know could could help me with uh, various odd jobs. And you you guys seem to be the the the, the type of adventure that you know really has some outside of the box thinking skills. So uh, you, how, what do you, what do you say? You guys may be interested in uh, in uh, in joining up with me? Um, well, I mean we we were doing ladies' night, but I suppose yeah, it was kind of a girl. Uh, thing but yeah. thank you thank you for mansplaining all of that to us <laughs> i'm not really i don't want to like join your your party i'm not really here to do that i just i'm no, you just want to you just want to tell us what to do no, that's, does the job give us money that we can use to buy drinks yeah okay. yeah as long as uh you know we're, we're being paid a, a fair wage right. for our services yes i i i would not i do not cotton to any any sort of a 70% of the of the gold tax uh, no I, I will give you all that you all that you deserve all that you have earned um, I am a I'm a feminist my name of course is uh, Francis Francis the feminist I am a goblin <laughs> perfect nice to meet you yep Francis seems a bit taken aback by your uh, your bold your bold statements of equalism but uh, he, he, co- he he's down with it he grocks it um, so so again, Francis, uh, he's eager to have you guys on board, but he says that there's one last thing he can do before before he officially you know signs you up as freelancers for um mm-hmm. for uh, Francis Inc. Uh, that's his, his his you know his LLC. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he says, well, guys, all right. You, so you seem you seem very competent, but uh, there's there's one last thing, there's one last test I like to uh, to give to adventurers before I you know like set them to their task. Uh, so if, if you could come right this way with me. So he um he walks to the uh, the other end of the tavern, uh, which you hadn't really noticed until now. It's a, it's a very big place, uh, and he walks over to a kind of like a separate area. There's a doorway, um, and above it you see is a um a sign that was once lit but has now gone out that says Family Fun Center. <laughs> <laughs> very into that. You enter the the Family Fun Center, and strangely enough, there's um there's only one game in there. Um, Ooh. Uh, and it's called the Pugilax. Oh my god! Wow. I love it. That is a handsome game. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I'm just reading the sign. <laughs> the, the, a little worried about point three. Yeah, the third, the third thing that uh, that is exclaimed on the sign is uh, a little concerning. Well, it's, it's don't disconcerting. Is, is that always the third? Don't. Step? Is that, don't worry about that. That's subjective. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. That puts me at ease. That puts legs. You don't ease. have anything to worry about. It. It's only. It's. It's. You know. It's like just letting kids know that they. Uh, they could die. Um, you would. You could die. As I guess is what I'm saying. Here. So Francis uh, goes over to a corner, and there's a big circuit breaker, and he. He uh, grabs the lever and pulls it, and everything starts whirring to life. Uh, you see the uh, the crystal in the center that's kind of floating there, suspended. Uh, a face appears on it. Uh, hmm. The face, the eyes open. Um, it licks its lips suggestively, which you mm. find a little strange. Um, and then it, it some kinda, nice lips on that. It's got some great lips. Uh, <laughs> Francis Francis notices you looking at the lips, and he's like, "Those lips, huh?" Legsy Legsy nods knowingly. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, strangely enough, the the Pugilax, it looks around at you, uh, kind of sizes you all up, and then it uh, it starts to speak. You there, mortals. Test your wills and your strength on my awesome console. Enter two credits to proceed, or your souls. So the, I, I can do two credits so two, or my soul? two credits or a soul? That's the exchange rate? <laughs> Those are the terms. <laughs> that is the exchange. Um, yes, well, so <laughs> let me explain a little bit. This is a, this is a device made by a, a good friend of mine, uh, you know, we used to. This was kind of our racket back in the day. Is uh, he made the machine, and I kind of brought in the people, and that this was uh, how we how we tested people for our freelance uh, operation. It was a, uh, you know, like we would bring people in here, and uh, he was really into the soul sucking thing. Not not so much me. So I've got the credits. Don't worry about it. So the Pugilax is it's a it's a one of a kind entertainment system. Uh, you can actually play it any way you want. Whoa. Um, but the thing is, nobody has ever won a single ticket. 
from the Pugilax. It's that hard. That's why they shut off this whole area. That's why the Family Fun Center is no more. It gets cold when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's been very lonely. He's uh, he's eager for a challenge. My lips were chapped. <laughs> Man, this Pugilax is such a cool voice. Yeah. <laughs> you, you notice on the screen uh, it says winners don't do drugs, but sometimes they do. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's cool. And then it just says wink, wink. <laughs> The face does not wink. <laughs> so yeah, this is your your challenge, guys. You all have to uh, to challenge the Pugilax in some way. As you as you can see, it's it's the ultimate video game. It's the ultimate uh, test of wills and strength. And of course, as uh, as Francis mentioned, the winner you you have to so like what you're trying to do here is you're trying to to, to win a ticket. Uh, and the person that scores the most tickets, uh, actually everyone will get tickets uh, from this challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, and all those tickets will be exchanged at the uh, at Gus's gift shop later uh, in the next episode. Nice. So uh, of course the winner will receive the most tickets. Uh, but no, no one's ever won any tickets from this before. Exactly. And now we're all gonna yeah, win. Yeah, you have some an awful lot of confidence in us. I'm very, very lonely. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're gonna make it easier, <laughs> easier for us. <laughs> oh, Pugilax. Pugilax is lip, licking his lips desperately. <laughs> <laughs> he's winking. He's like trying to wink, but it doesn't look like he's programmed for that. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let, let's roll for for initiative. Let's see who goes first. Okay, Nathan rolling. Nathan's rolling. A Ooh, twenty. Wow. Nat, nat twenty. Damn. There you go. Dude. Ooh. Made Dot up com. for last ep. Uh, a Nathan twenty, as it were. A Nathan roll twenty. <laughs> I got a 19. Nice. Oh, the only time when that's not a good roll is against Nathan's 20. Great. We call that a Jacob's 20. A Jacob's 20. Oh, I got a one. A one. Exactly. Yay. Right. Oh, great. What uh, a spread. Well, then, Nate, I guess you're drawn first, buddy. Uh, you said that uh, on the previous episode that yes. a high roll can defer. Uh-huh. So I'm going to I'm going to elect to go last cuz that oh. worked out great for me last time. You can you can elect to go any order you choose, I guess. Oh my goodness, uh, you cheap boy. I'd like to go last. Uh-huh. So Please someone just go. <laughs> <laughs> Legzy Legzy's still nursing uh the last few drops of that uh of that Miller. Fair enough. So uh Jacob, are you going to go or are you going to defer as well? Uh well, I guess I'm just going to go, man. All right. Let's just do this thing. I'm no coward. Yeah, Legzy, Legzy is for sure a coward. Legzy is a known coward. <laughs> you did. Uh, you had. You had uh, roughly a third of Miller Light, and you're just. You're charged. Oh yeah, up. Le- Legzy's. Legzy's real tips. Also, she's trying to sober up. <laughs> but she's also still drinking. She doesn't quite understand how that works. So it seems that uh, Jacob Ra- Regina will be stepping up to face the Pugilax first, uh, and the Pugilax, seeing Regina approach, uh, just vibrates. I'm very excited. <laughs> you, you're liking the Pugilax less and less, honestly, as this is going on. Uh, you notice that um, Francis has kind of stepped back to the threshold um, and is wearing safety goggles and uh, what seems to be the fantasy equivalent of like a, a, of a catcher's uniform. You don't quite know why he's oh. doing that. Oh my goodness. So if, in case I get like blown back or something? <laughs> You also see Francis exchanging money with some of the old orcs from before. Uh, it seems like this is th- there's, this is the most excitement that this bar, that the, the hung- Hungry Goat Tavern has seen in quite a while. So, uh, yeah, let's let's give him a good show. Are we looking at a screen with like a hologram of of that that face, or is that a real face? That's a real ass face. That's a real face floating in there. That's good because I'm getting right it, in there. Is it behind glass? No, it or- is. It is conjured. Uh, it is conjured by some means, so it's a magical object, but it is nice. real. It is it is uh, tangible. The only question Does... I need an answer to is, is it a smoochable object? <laughs> uh, I, I've actually never been smooched before. This is a new development. <laughs> yeah. Regina is no stranger to using her uh, feminine wiles, you know, to get her way. Right. And she can tell the Pugilax might, like, lack a little bit of experience. <laughs> Yeah, Regina is the social butterfly of of Ladies Book Club. Before we get um, too carried away, I do want to mention uh, uh, Randy McKay is is a uh, very graciously uh, guest guest voicing uh, for us today. He is uh, he is the voice of the Pugilax. Randy is uh, is of course the designer, one of our designers for College Humor, um, and he's uh, very graciously uh, agreed to voice uh, this uh, horrifying prism for this episode. You you may remember Randy from the episode of uh, Drawfee Nights with with uh, Jamie. 
Ah. Jamie from Britain. Jamie from Britain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Willie's... Uh, with, the British office. Who's decidedly not Willie. Yeah, who's for sure not Willie. Uh-huh, 100% there, not there's Willie. There's one thing we know, it's that it's not Willie. It's not Willie. There was also, I think, a pirate in that episode. Uh, <laughs> uh, Peg yeah. Leg Pete. Peg we, Leg... we got the ghost of Willie at the very end. Oh, okay. At the very end, the ghost of Willie showed up, uh, but he was for sure not Jamie. We're going to get Willie on one of these episodes. Don't you guys worry. Or <laughs> Willie or Jamie or whoever's available. Yeah. I was really worried, to be honest. <laughs> so thank you for easing those fears. <laughs> so, uh... Roxa, you haven't you really you haven't really said anything in a while. Uh, what's your what's your take on all this? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it seems like Roxa's kind of you 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 notice as um as Regina's putting her moves on this this crystal. Roxa is just kind of like chilling in the corner. Roxa is literally staring at a wall. I just I heard tests and I went, no, it's not happening. <laughs> so, so I zoned out. I. I Really haven't been paying attention. I looked up and there was a shiny, strong-chinned man and went, yeah, that's some strong chins. And um, thought about if it was strong enough to withstand a crushing. Um, and then I, I went back to thinking about... A crushing. A crushing. A crushing. <laughs> <laughs> so, the answer is usually I thought, no. I thought there was, there was going to be more to that sense. Me too. <laughs> As Regina approaches the crystal, you see Roxa over in, in the corner just like, She's pulled out, like, no less than seven blades and is sharpening them. <laughs> I couldn't tell if Roxa was mad about uh, not getting the drink because her facial expression does not change. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, is that she, she I was just... more upset I didn't get the chalice, but after a certain incident with uh, too much beverage, mm-hmm. uh, Roxa has abstained from drinking. When Roxa okay. blacks out, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's real bad. A small mm-hmm. country was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a country is literally blackened. It was uh, charred and, it was and left a remnant. out of existence. <laughs> it disappeared from all maps somehow. So, Regina, did you offer any um, in, any flirting, any pickup lines to uh, to the Pugilax, or did you just go? Did you just swoop right in? Uh, I, I mostly just swooped right in. Regina's kind of a, a real go-getter uh-huh. type, you know. She knows what she wants. She knows what she needs to do. She just does it. So I guess uh, you're. But she did. She whispered, you know, some things. Kind of the only words everyone could hear were like lips mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, cheekbones. Right. So she she probably offered some compliments. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, I guess like maybe maybe a few infernal uh, something in the infernal tongue, like some some sort of like demon language that would uh, you know really get the Pugilax in the mood. I'm not one to kiss and tell. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a question. Um, yes. Did did the Pugilax grow an arm? <laughs> yeah, he grew an arm to express <laughs> just how shocked and surprised he was. That's so cute. It's, I like uh, that you you just took him right out of his little little pedestal. I, he probably did not like that. Oh, he looks like he likes it. I'm fine with it. He's fine with it. There you go. Uh, Pugilax, what do you what do you think about this? What is your can I, can I hear a little uh, role play between you and Regina? I, I've honestly never thought anyone would, would ever hold me again. And so this is just something that I want. Again? I, I, <laughs> not well, after the first time. I wasn't always a machine, you know. <gasps> oh, whoa, I oh did not God. know that. Francis looks very uncomfortable at this. <laughs> is, is there a backstory I'm unaware of? Are you I guys? Mean... Wait, are you guys? What are you doing over there? This doesn't really look like... Shut it, Francis. All right. We're busy. Francis, what, um... I have a question. Yeah. What... Uh, well, what do you do with all them souls? Oh, that, uh, uh, I, I, I imagine if no one's ever won tickets. Uh huh. You know, souls are souls are good for all sorts of stuff, uh, bud. You can. Uh, <laughs> well, number one, you can you can uh, build a uh, a living uh, enchanted crystal with it. Uh, you know, just for starters. Uh, you can uh, you know power a go kart is another good good use for a soul. Uh, it's pretty much just like gasoline, except it uh, it never goes away. It's it's pretty legit. That you sounds guys, pretty rad, actually. Yeah, yeah. You there, guys ever use... There's, there's gasoline in this world. Cool, oh, sure. cool, cool. Yeah, there's fuel. Yeah. Fuel, yeah, for sure, for sure. There's, I mean, there were fossils at one point. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Why does that seem so weird to you? You know what? Um, uh, Legsy does not pay attention in history class. Sure. Or science class. Are you smooching the Pugilax? <laughs> oh, my. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> That's not I'm really... Smooching it. Okay, I'm smooching it enough. All right. You know, I don't know if that's really technically a challenge. You don't Listen, have to be Francis, really challenged. It's, it. a, it's a smooching challenge, that's and a, I'm winning because the Pugilax is not very good at smooching. You said it's every it's video game. It's it's uh, this is the dating sim. This is the version. dating sim. What? I you know, I'm sorry. I'm kind of a hardcore gamer. I don't really high score. Get into <laughs> See, that sort of there stuff. There you go. 
There yeah. you go. He loves it. He's all about it. I only play shooters and uh, and and in like you know intense hardcore puzzles, uh, like blood puzzles mostly is what I'm into. Blood puzzles. Yeah, you ever play a you, know, you play those blood puzzlers? It's great. It's basically like you know um, it's like Tetris but inside a human body. It's real. It's real cool. It's real dark. Uh, it's you know it's pretty. If, the, if there's bones involved, then I'm down, dude. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe um, what's your What's your Magic Steam account? <laughs> Magic Steam. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm done with this drawing. All right, so. wonderful. Uh, so Don't leave. I'll be back for you. As you leave the Pugilax, uh, he, he turns around and notices that you've, you've scrawled your... You've scrawled some sort of means of contacting you uh, in the back of the actual crystal. Um, in, in blood. Exactly. Which is very cruel because he can't actually ever look at it. But, he knows <laughs> but it's someone there. can read it off to him. Exactly. Uh, so the Pugilax is still still reeling from your smooches. Pugilax, what do you, what do you, what do you think about that? I'm in shock. I'm in awe. I, I take solace in the fact that something's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so Pugilax needs to get someone else to read the digits for it. <laughs> but play it cool. <laughs> He'll never know that it's a rejection hotline number. <laughs> a fantasy rejection hotline. <laughs> My hopes are way up for this one. <laughs> wait. 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 If Regina rejects someone, mm-hmm. is did did they get rejected? They Ew. absolutely got rejected. Uh-huh. Uh, Lindsay loses another four. <laughs> actually, this time you just got poison. You just have <laughs> like, poisoned now. Lexi's just poisoned now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Lexi's Lexi's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> So Nathan, are you gonna go? Or are you going to uh, right, forfeit again? I I said I was going last, and uh, I'm sticking with it. I'm, Alrighty. I'm now both drunk and poisoned. Maybe <laughs> alcohol poisoned. I think that's so, exactly what happened. You um you kind of cut your lip on that nipple somehow. Oh, nice. <laughs> you got some some. Uh, that's some... a that's a sharp nipple. <laughs> that's what you say as you pass out. Uh, so yep, let's let's get uh let's get Roxa in the mix. Roxa. Another challenger, please. Um, I, it seems like uh, the Pugilax is, is uh, it's pretty excited. He's like, he thinks he's probably just going to get more smooches. He thinks that you guys are all just going to smooch him. He's got some, <laughs> another thing coming yeah. with Rahaxa, I'm sure. <laughs> Considering her boyfriend is a skull. A, a shoulder skull. A shoulder skull. I don't know if she's ever smooched anything. Roxa finishes um, whittling a, a knife from a knife. <laughs> she, she turns a knife into somehow a sharper, uh-huh. more deadly knife. Exactly. Somehow bigger. She's like the only person that can whittle something. <laughs> she into whittled, a whittled it larger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she, she just kind of tosses it into the wall. It narrowly misses Francis. He kind of yelps. <laughs> ah, what? what? Jeez. What? <laughs> what are you guys doing? He's he's kind of interested. He feels like the the, the crowd is uh, growing. Uh, they're all excited to see what what Rox is going to do, how she's going to uh, tackle this challenge. Uh, they're hoping for maybe a little more, a little more blood, uh, a little more maybe more souls to be spilt. So let's see uh, what you got for us, Roxa. A, a crowd has formed. Did... Yeah, there's a bunch of old orcs uh, exchanging oh, yeah, yeah. money. Um, they've you know, oh nice, they're betting on us. Yeah, oh exactly. They're, they're, this is like the most excitement they've had in in weeks uh, since. Uh, since uh, Gruesome Springsteen rolled into town. Uh, <laughs> gruesome Springsteen. The Groose. Oh, the Groose. The Groose. <laughs> exactly. The boss mm-hmm. of the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Roxo, while, while you approach the, the Pugilax, um, Regina, you go over to Francis and try, and try and wheedle some information out of him. Uh, yeah. So why don't you go ahead and ask, ask, uh, ask Francis anything. Do a quick AMA with Francis. So, uh, Francis. Yep. Uh, I can't help but wonder what what does your business actually provide? Uh, goods and services. That is <laughs> just too vague, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need an example, like one good, okay. at least. Well, um, hmm. Like he says, a service also. Uh, yeah, yeah. One we, good and one service. What we one do each. is we, we service goods. Well, now it sounds sexual. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm not sure what kind of well, trade. That is a in. that is a branch. Um, you, you should be aware that I can remove the skeleton from your body. Uh, well, and I'm, I can I'm, make it dance. Okay. I've proven this. I see you're a little friend there. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty bone, cool bone little Bone regard trip. rattles threateningly. I guess I will say I will not pay you money if you remove my bones from my body. That is going. That is a bit. As a caveat, uh, that's going to be in the contract. You're going to have to sign. Once. Dude, don't blow this. <laughs> 
Sorry, we, sorry. We need that money. <laughs> you know I love removing bones. <laughs> Make his bones removed after he pays us. I would prefer for you never did that. man. <laughs> I, I must be drunk. I thought I was whispering, but I'm clearly <laughs> talking loud enough for How him to is hear. your friend so drunk off of one third of a, a Miller Lite? That seems I'm tiny. She's like three feet tall. <laughs> yeah, but you're pretty. You're pretty squat, to be fair. Well, most of her legs are fake. Not also. To, oh, okay. You know that was the thing. I, it looked like you look bigger than you are because of all the legs. Are those fake? They are. Uh, they're as real as as I make them. No, I'm looking at them now. They're very fake. This is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, you, no, you got it. No, come to think of it, wow, this is interesting. We, uh, we actually, we, we service these. Uh, we don't what? make them. We don't manufacture them. But you know, you. Can but you do serve, because a couple of them are. Uh, they, they've been squeaky. Mm-hmm. Um, so oh, yeah. maybe, me... maybe you can you can help uh, help service those those out because no one wants squeaky legs. I I would say I would say not. Uh, let me let me take a look at one of these. Uh, okay. Francis Francis inspects the leg. Oh, this isn't. This is yeah. This is good craftsmanship. Uh, uh, you know what? Are you are you a short stack? I am a short stack. Yes. You know what? I know your dad. What? Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Quadzo. Quadzo short stack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's him. Yeah, he he runs the the mannequin factory. Yep. Uh, Makes the, a good mac and cheese. He does for some reason. <laughs> short stack, cheese and mac is what he calls it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, it's Classic weird, dad. It's a weird. Enterprise that he's got going there, which is uh, mac and cheese and uh, mannequin legs. I always yep. told him. I always told him because we would go to you know uh, goods and service con, uh, and I always <laughs> told him that he should you know like do the whole mannequin, not just the legs. Uh, but you know he he had a vision, he had a dream, and he stuck to it. Uh, and wait, it, your, goods and service con or goods and service con East? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's uh, GNS <laughs> GNS West actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, That's when he would, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's actually, it's, it's, a, it's held down in a Fictionton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember uh, dad, dad would go and he'd, he'd always bring me back uh, some fixin, Fictionton fudge. Oh, yeah, we're, fami- we're famous for our fudge. Um, that's actually where me and my, uh, my business partner are, uh, are from. That's where we kind of operate. Uh, you and the Pugilax. No, 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 the Pugilax no, his... is an employee. My, my partner. You know, for, for uh, my LLC, my, my, my business. Uh, Francis, Francis Corp. Francis Corp. Exactly. Is your your business partner isn't also named Francis? He is not. Right? Uh, so you he, just you just edged him out with the name. Well, it's it's a long story. It used to be um, it used to be F and D Enterprises, uh, but of course, um, unfortunately, I guess I can tell you guys this. You know, you, you don't seem like the sort that cries easy. Uh, he he actually he actually passed away uh, earlier this year. He was I uh, was murdered oh. actually. Um, oh. you know, that's actually, Whoa. that's actually what Damn. I wanted to, to talk to you guys about is, uh, my, my buddy, uh, his, so his name's Daryl. Uh, he's another goblin. He's a brilliant inventor. Again, he, he actually invented this, uh, this contraption here. Father. Yeah. That's uh, a lot of, lot of like dad that. talk. <laughs> a lot of dad talk. Yeah. 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 Oh, Daryl promised me he would not, he would not program this thing. He always programs his inventions to call, to call, um, him daddy. And I don't like it. I think it's gross and weird, but you know, he insists on it. So uh, yeah, again, yes, yeah, so, uh, Daryl invented all this. Uh, he's a real, he's a real whiz. He's a real crackerjack. But he was, uh, he was, you know, offed. So um, you know, I had to restructure the company a little bit. I don't know if it's maybe just because Legsy has recently been poisoned, or has been drinking, or just thinking about her dad. But mm-hmm. she's, she's feeling, she's feeling pretty emotional. Yeah. She's thinking about her dad. And now she's seeing this machine that has lost its father to murder. <laughs> she's tearing up. No! <laughs> Why'd you shut me off? Pugilax attempts to cry but cannot. <laughs> wow! All right, that made that made Legsy laugh. <laughs> Pugilax attempting to cry is very funny. Everyone has a real good laugh about it. <laughs> it can only all, all it can do is vibrate. Uh, so it just it just vibrates at a um, at a frequency and says, "Is this crying? Am I crying?" <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. No, sorry. That's not it. How about no? No, that's no. Still no. <laughs> so let's check back in with uh, with Roxy here. Uh, it seems like you're engaged in some sort of staring contest. Oh yeah. Uh, well, Roxy's a little low on the food. So Roxy's got a lot of nourishment. Yeah. So she's like, I'm not gonna waste my energy fighting this guy. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna eat. And she also wasn't really paying attention. And she saw a test your strength, so she's like, I guess I'll I'll test the thing to a staring contest. So this is like this is Roxa didn't even want to uh, you know give this thing the satisfaction of testing her strength. Like this is like Roxa's true is strength is her. yeah Roxa's true strength is basically unimaginable. Yeah. Uh, where did She's she not get whipping that out? But she is whipping out a sandwich. Where did she get this sandwich, by the way? Uh, Demon Johnny brought some along. <laughs> <laughs> is he also he's eating the prepared. sandwich? Yeah, he's he's having a little munch. I like they're that. Just, they're just sharing bites. Yeah, that's, so real, that's real cute. That's the that's the cutest they've ever been together. Mm-hmm. Does does um Demon Johnny double as like a a lunch pail? Like does she like, kind of like lift him up like a flap and there's like a bunch of sandwiches in there? He's kind of like a Mary Poppins bag. Oh, is he like Oops. magical? Like if you feed him the sandwich, does like another one just like magically appear inside of him? No, nah, food food just goes straight to his belly. Okay, where is his non- belly? <laughs> Non-consumables go to a, an alternate dimension of holding. There is, there's nothing scarier. This is like the most intimidating thing you could draw, which is just like two people just enjoying a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does, um, does the Pugilax eat just souls, right? Yeah, yeah. It just wants souls. Pugilax, what's your favorite? Um, so you like souls. Is, do you like anything else to eat? Um, you know, I haven't really had much. Lately, like there was a spider that crawled by uh-huh. not very long ago. I had that, uh, but then you know I've also been shut off for decades. So yeah, you should. There's I, a really, there's a really good Korean place down the street. You should check out. I have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh, What's enough. your favorite flavor of soul? Raspberry. Raspberry soul. <laughs> Anyone who's been di- who was killed while like making a prank and just sort of like. <clears throat> oh, that ah. kind of raspberry. <sighs> That's cute. Uh, That's hey, cute, Pugilax. Hey, Pugilax, can you can you quickly like maybe can you uh, let let us know what flavor soul um, all three of our adventurers have? Yeah, can you tell? Does the I guess the the soul flavor changes depending on the circumstance of death. Correct. None of you are quite dead yet. <laughs> all right. All right. What about Bone Regard? He's dead. Yeah. Mm, that little dancing chap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He looks spicy. <laughs> I can see that. That makes sense. He's What about me? Jonathan. <laughs> then what about Jonathan the Bone Staff? Yeah, me, Jonathan the Bone Staff. <laughs> uh Regina kind of like just pokes her bone staff into into frame, uh, just so that so so that the Pugilax can get a quick lick. It's hard to see that el- while also like doing the steering contest. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, now you have something to eat, too. Sorry, I'm a little dry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, <laughs> there's our boy. So what do you look for? It's whatever sass tastes like. Okay, like sarsaparilla, maybe. Yeah, sarsaparilla. Okay, that's a pretty good taste. Julia, the compositions of your yeah. drawings are so good. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. The use yeah. of shadow and light uh, and space. <laughs> so you didn't see it before, but all of a sudden a large siren sounds, uh, and um, a the screen up top changes to say uh, "Time's up, Julia." <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting, man. <laughs> all right, so that that's great. This is good. This is an, an eternal staring. Who's contest. Julia? <laughs> The screen quickly edits to say time's up, Roxa. <laughs> the screen displays through time and space into our dimension. <laughs> the screen the screen says, uh wait. Wait, sorry. Uh time's up, Roxa. So I I guess legs up. Legsy's up. That's what Legsy says. She says, Legs up! She is still uh she is still pre tipsy. I love it. But Legsy's been been thinking about it. Uh, as best as she can. Now I will say, while you while you walk up, n- neither the Pugilax nor Roxa uh, stops blinking, and in their minds, this contest has gone on for thousands of years. Sure. Um, what happens is, as you approach, both of them blink simultaneously, and for the first time ever, the Pugilax cries. <gasps> is this it? Is is this it? He cries. Um, you can't tell if it's um. If it's some sort of oil or maybe like a hoisin sauce, uh, Francis looks up and, and seems very concerned. He's like, "Oh, well, that that's never happened before." I kiss him mm. again so I can tell what it is. <laughs> uh, it's actually just soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay. I guess. Um. Well, that's actually uh, funny. Funnily enough, that's what souls taste like. Uh, most of them. Um, just unless your standard soul tastes like soy sauce. Yeah, your standard soul. Again, um, you know, as as Pugilax was explaining. 
I prefer duck sauce, but I'll deal. So, uh, yeah, Rock, Rygina licks up the rest of the, the soul sauce. Mm. Uh, it's addictive. And actually, yeah. And actually, you know, it, it's, it's flowing so freely. I'm going to... I like that. It's flowing so freely. Um, you actually take a little vial and you, you fill it with, uh, with some of the, soy, the soul sauce and, uh, and save it for later. This feels weird. Listen, just be cool. <laughs> uh, while, while you're doing this, um, the Pugilax uh, prints out a do you like me yes no card from its mouth. I'll, uh, I'll get like right back to you on this. Fill it out whenever you're ready. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, I'm gonna drop it right in the mail. I promise. <laughs> you um, <laughs> you feed it to a demon. You you feed it to the bone staff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna hold that for you. Cool. Yeah, he's got it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You ask for you ask for the Pugilax's address so that you can mail it back to him. You don't write it down. <laughs> I I think I can remember that. Mm-hmm. I believe you. So. This seems interesting. Uh, I've never. Lexi seems to be emoting. Uh, she's still. She's still kind of choked up. I mean, she. She thought it was funny when uh-huh. he tried to cry, but then she saw him cry for real, and that mm-hmm. just made her think about her dad. Oh and his yeah. Dad. Just about um, morality, mortality, and morality. Oh. 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 She strapped legs to him. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so that's, nice. So Legsy, Legsy had been eyeing that sort of DDR floor. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Since since we got into the room. Yeah, I mean, Legsy, I feel like, you know, girls just want to have fun, and drunk yeah. girls just want to dance. Yeah. Them's the rules. Legsy, Legsy's feeling pretty pretty drunk, pretty mm-hmm. emotional, and she was just like, we need to, we need to dance, we need to dance out all these emotions right now. I love it. Now, what happened to, um, what happened to the Pugilax's arms, I guess is where, like, can he, can he only have one or the other? Oh, or is he using his arms to hold the legs in place? Well, he only had one arm, and that arm just appeared mm-hmm. uh, when he got smooched, and I feel like it disappeared instantly. Oh. so you think that the arm was, like, some sort of, like, the smooch gave him, like, extra power. It, like, filled him with potential, and, yeah. you know, it charged him up so that he could, uh, like, create an arm. Love changes you. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that everyone... Yeah, everyone has like attempted to, or you, you and Regina have attempted to, uh, you know, to, to like make the make the future legs more than he already was. Uh, Roxa just ate a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> to be Listen, fair, she's girl, really hungry. A girl's got to eat. Yeah. What was on your sandwich? Uh, bacon, mm-hmm. turkey. Okay. Uh, some kind of mystery meat. Uh huh. Uh, soul sauce. Yeah. Was this soul <laughs> sauce that you got from um, the Pugilax, or did you bring some of your own? I brought some of my own. Oh, nice. Dad had it in his cabinet, so mm-hmm. like, why not, right? <laughs> a lot of dads. What's everyone else's dad up to? Let's let's get you know what? Let's have a little a uh, little character moment here. Uh, so we, we know that uh, Legsy's dad works in a, a runs a, a mannequin leg factory. Very specific, uh, but you know he he, make, he gets good work. Uh, Roxy, what does your dad do? Uh, he's a librarian. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you, you know, know. He, he likes to take it easy. He likes he likes reading a lot. He loves adventure books. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is. Uh, a, a, a demon prison located underneath, but not many sure. people know how to get into it. I think only one guy so he's like got a, um, into it once. I like that. So he's like a uh, a, a warden slash librarian. So he's a keeper of books and secrets. Yeah, it's, there's just you know there's there's a lot of doors in the library. Nice that lead to a lot of places, but only he has the keys. But you know he doesn't really go in there. He kind of just likes to spend the day reading. I do like that. That's essentially the, that's the Eladrin equivalent of like a. Um, a, an accountant it's just like oh, yeah he's a keeper of books and secrets it's kind of like i don't know it's, it's uh, he wants me to do it but i don't know i just want to be a, i just want to be a writer pretty much um, yeah my dad actually works in the demon prison oh. underneath that library oh okay they know my dad other? is a my dad is full demon uh-huh. oh all right so uh he's he's one of the the torturers of the of the demon prison nice he's a he's a real asshole i'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you yeah i think my dad saw your dad the last time we had to clock in he was like hey yeah if, if, you know, was he a guy, was he the one who was uh, was stabbing someone with a pitchfork over and over? I don't think so. And feasting on their screams. That might have been mom. Oh, okay, yeah, it could have been. <laughs> Very possible. So what's um, uh, so y- your dad, uh, Regina, your dad, uh, he's like a torturer mostly. Yeah, yeah, he gains uh, joy and power from the pain of others. Oh, sick. What's his what's his kind of like what's his torture of choice? 
Oh man, he loves them all so much. Mm -hmm. He's a real, uh, uh, you know, jack of all tortures, master of none. <laughs> Kind of guy. Yeah, he, he, he prefers the variety. Variety is the spice of torture, is what he always oh, told me. Oh, so he me. likes a real like Whitman sampler of torture, specifically yeah, yeah. eating a Whitman sampler in front of fat people uh, who are being starved. He does love that one. Mm -hmm. That seems um, pretty good. So a lot of a lot of ironic punishments, or like mostly kind of just you know actual physical pain. Actual physical pain. He's not a clever man. Yeah. So nothing nothing Sisyphean, really. No, he's not big into that. He just likes mm. to cause some, you know, some good old fashioned pain and just in a in a wide variety of ways. What about like a what about like a one thousand cuts scenario? Might he might he get might he get down with that? He might get down with that. Alright, cool. But he's more like one big cut. He likes to do one big cut. Does he ever bring his work home with him? Uh no, he's actually uh he's very kind <laughs> in the house. <laughs> He gets it all out. He leaves it in the office. Pulls, I've always respected that. He pulls like a full Mr. Rogers. Like he switches. You yeah, know, he comes he takes home. off his shoes. Mm -hmm. His torture shoes. <laughs> They're very spiky. Puts on a sweater. Puts on a sweater. T takes and, off uh, his takes off his ruined smock. Yeah, his ruined smock. <laughs> and he makes me do my homework. Oh, of course. Or you get tortured. Who's this over in the corner? It's uh, it's just like the crowd of uh, the crowd of orcs. Oh, the orc crowd. Right? Oh, I love it. I like that they're. What song is playing here? It's um, it's it's uh, it's actually it's um, it's "Wrecking Mace" by Miley Siren. <laughs> <laughs> As, yeah. Oh man, you you just gained it all back, Nathan. You're you're poison free. You you're better. You felt better than you ever have. Your HP is tripled. <laughs> <laughs> You'll live forever at this Yay! rate. Yay! <laughs> These orcs are going nuts. Uh, they love. They're like, oh, what is it? Is that Wrecking Mace? Oh, man! <laughs> That's my jam! I love it! And then, you know, like, it, since it is a siren song, they all start, like, rushing towards you. They actually... This this turns into a full-on mosh pit pretty quickly. Hell yeah. Um, they actually... And everybody gets a leg. You get a leg. <laughs> you get a leg. You get a leg. What? They're all uh, holding legs. They start start uh, catching the legs on fire and, like, waving them around. Um, so, yeah, and basically what happens is, like, the bar starts to shake a little bit, and, and Francis is a little worried. Um, he's actually a part-time owner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, this is mm, oh wow, this is not good. Uh, huh. Well, I guess you've all you're all doing pretty good. I I, I wish these guys would stop this though. Um, as he says that, uh, someone shoves a leg in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's actually he's getting he's getting carried. He's getting surfed across the crowd, and he's. He's acting like a real, um, like Chevy Chase in a kids movie. He's not having it at all, or something, something like that. Well, this is good. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this one done as well. I, I think that this is you've painted a very captivating scene. Uh, my favorite thing about the Miley Cyrus, the, the Miley Siren song though, is it's the uh, like, uh, it, it's the the DDR Japanese remix of it. So it's sped yeah, up yeah. to about 125 <laughs> percent. It's a it's a hard one. You have you need to have a partner in order to do it. Yeah. All right. So um, as the as the the walls of the tavern come crumbling down, and the pugilax cries his last tear. Uh, the machine starts. <laughs> the machine just starts <laughs> spewing out tickets um, for for every which one of you. You you guys have all unlocked uh, secrets of the pugilax hearts in ways uh, he never thought possible. You're all my best friends. Yeah, uh, Legsy, you've helped him re realize, uh, you know, like the pain of mortality and, and losing a father. R Regina, you, you've helped him know love, and of course, Roxy, you um, you guys are like best buds now. You guys spent a thousand years in the uh, in the mental in the mental torture chamber uh, of of Roxa's mind, and you kind of emerged have emerged as as, as pals, honestly. Yeah, I gave him a, I gave him a bit of my sandwich too. So that yeah, was not... exactly. Couldn't eat it, but. Thanks for the gesture. <laughs> <laughs> I offered. Uh huh. So um, he actually uh, he he spills the rest of the soul sauce. You each get a uh, you each get a, a flagon of soul sauce. Oh, nice, mm -hmm. sweet. And uh, and and again, these tickets are just spilling out everywhere. And these are actually special tickets, um, much like uh, the Pugilax, who can print things from his mouth, who can print custom stationery from his mouth. All the tickets have uh, your names on them, so they correspond. The amount corresponds to uh, how well you all did. Um, and of course, that's where you, the audience, comes in. Uh, please, we're gonna have a straw poll up. Go to the straw poll. Vote for who gets the most tickets, who gets the least tickets. Uh, you know that gets decided automatically. But you might as well vote. It'll be fun. Uh, and of course, 
what's going to happen next is they're all going to get to go redeem their tickets at the Family Fun Center Prize Grotto. Ooh. And in the prize grotto, um, you know, baby Gus, hopefully maybe will have woken from his nap and you guys will get to, to trade in your tickets for some uh, cool prizes. So guys, um, your action item for this week is of course to um, provide me with some prizes and their magical effects. Uh, we're going to need, you know, a bunch of them because everyone's going to get something, but you know, the winner's going to get first crack, obviously. Uh, so yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see in this shop. Uh, and I guess... That's gonna about wrap it for us. Uh, again, please. Uh, can we can we just say yeah. that uh, we we picked we picked our favorite uh, beverage, but yeah. my gosh, was it hard? Oh, for sure. Ju- uh, can like, I can I read out a couple of my other favorites? Yeah, let's read out some some honorable mentions. That's a great idea. Um, so real quick, uh, the mobs masher said makes you vomit real bad. Love it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> The Carbon Mirror said, Conductor's Cocktail makes you sing songs by the band Train and also turns you to, into a half-self, half-self, half-train monster. <laughs> uh, Grant Thackeray might have been my favorite. The drink is a John and Tonic. It allows anyone who drinks it to be named Jonathan for one turn, and during that time can use the powers of any other Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Endless of, possibilities. Of which we have we have many on our team, but there are so many other Jonathans to choose from oh, in this man. world. Uh, so there's a lot of other good ones. Ethan Herring 5, Ashley Smith, and Jack the Quack also had some great ones. Um, guys, thank you so much. The, the response to the first episode was overwhelming. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. We're very excited to go on this journey with you and, uh, and meet new characters and revisit old ones as we've already begun to do. Uh, so next time we'll we'll get into a little more about uh, the death of of Daryl and how Francis and Daryl uh, you know their their backstory their history their lore. Uh, but for now, again, share the show, uh, like and subscribe if you will. And thanks, especially thank you, Randy, for joining us as the voice of the Pugilax. No problem. Please come back. <laughs> we will not. Uh, so guys, that's been uh, Draga uh, Chapter Two. Uh, thanks for watching, and we are very sorry. <laughs>